Hey guys and girls, I am Izzy Noodles. Welcome back to the final part of Pirate Princess. Now, we just entered a new area and opened up this gate, where I'm standing. And, um, yes, this was a return ba path back to the Panther area. And in this new area, there is a papaya, so that's a small med pack, don't forget. She does not want to pick that up. There we go, just line yourself up properly. And we have a torch somewhere. It blends in with the ground. I just see it now. <laughs> so there's also torches over there by that little tiny tree. So now you want to light the torch, quite obviously. And now we're going to go ahead and use the torch. We're going to take the torch all the way back to the pirate lair. So here's the panther. Nice meeting you, but we're off now. Um, yeah, so back to the pirate lair. And, well, you the viewer may not know what we're doing with it yet because um, I didn't bother to explore the lair. So you're kind of getting it and you don't know what you're getting it for. But all will be revealed. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Never mind, I'll go back and get another one. I did this last time I played. On my last walkthrough. There we go. <laughs> so, in terms of torch, all will be revealed when we get there. So you want to hop back over the swamp. And you do need to do a running jump for this because otherwise she will bang her head on an invisible ceiling. Okay. So don't forget the fireflies will show you where you've already been. Okay, here we are, back in the beer garden. So straight through the tavern. Here we go. So remember I said that the pirate lair slash village, it's a little bit of a village, uh, it's not as big as that flyby made it look. And we do want to go in all the houses, we get there uh, get into them a different way each time and the torch is actually to burn through some floorboards so we are doing that right now come to the end and you do have a, a pretty 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 water and let me just point out you may have noticed Lara in the cutscene talking to Lucia last time in the tavern talked about the cave how would you get into the cave and that's the cave is over there behind that door Anyway, so you want to go onto the rooftops, so hop onto this block, and that helps you onto the roof. And then just up, up, whoop, whoop, just up here. See, on the wall, just on the right hand side, there is a grate that we need to raise in order to reach the next rooftop. So that's what this. I don't know, I suppose it's supposed to be a secret button to blend in. So throw your button down and press the secret button. <laughs> a button that looks like the rocks. And that grate has raised. So just hop on, hop off. And at the end, 
just hop down here so be careful you don't hop all the way off and here we go going through the back of the tavern over the swamp was only to get a torch to burn a hole in the floor Flames do take a while. <laughs> Finally, okay, just hop on down. And uh, let me first show you this panel. You can see it's just miscolored there. That's a secret panel that we want to open up. Also to exit the house, you don't have to because we're going through the secret panel, but optionally you can pull this lever and that will open the door. You really don't have to. Also, you can see the very bright blades on the wall there compared to other blades around the place. So that's a bit of a hint that we want to interact with this. And that has removed the secret panel. So now we can go on in and interact with this bit. So just give it a good kick in. And if you look up, there is a jump switch, which opens the hatch straight above. Simple enough. If she will grab it, there you go. <laughs> so now you can climb the ladder. Okay, so shimmy a long hop down, come this way, oh come on, and now we've got a tightrope here and before when I played I did have some difficulty with this tightrope, so it might be tedious, it might not, so just do your best, so hold down the action button before going forward. Don't forget, if she leans to one side, just press the opposite side button. And there is a neat trick I can show you, I didn't bother the first time round. But you can jump off the rope, you cannot jump back onto it, so make sure you're getting close to the end before you jump off. will do. No, no, no! <laughs> I done goofed. I was gonna jump off and I done goofed. So that's how the jump works, <laughs> just don't let go of action too soon. <laughs> so from here you want to jump to the ladder, line up a little bit better just in case. <laughs> and you want Lara to have her footing here, because as you're shimmying around the corner <laughs> she sort of teleports all the way to one side and she will even teleport onto the left hand side where there are no rungs to hold on to so obviously she'll just plummet to her death so anyway just flip back and grab the next one shimmy all the way around again <coughs> Uh, 
Okay, and then from here, just climb up to the monkey bars. And in some TRLEs, there is, uh, you can press the roll button on monkey bars and it will spin you 180 degrees, but not in this one. So that's a little annoying, but not a problem because this is possibly the only monkey bars in the game. So just follow around all the way to the end. And you do want to hop down. I believe after this first bush it can be difficult to judge. Especially when you can't see the bush. Wow, that was close. That was close. <laughs> so, pineapple. Baboon. And a rum barrel. You can interact with the rum barrel. Give it a good shove off the edge. Lara is such a vandal and that guy saw everything. <laughs> anyway, so the best way down from here is just to roll all the way down, hold the grab button because then she'll slide into that gap and won't take so much damage. And the window that we've just broken <laughs> is just around here. Now in here, there is a chest behind the shelves just there, with the silvery edgings. And you can interact with that chest. Lara will take something out of the chest. But actually, she takes nothing from the chest. She interacts with it like she's taking something, but then she actually has nothing in her inventory, which is a little bit bizarre. So, yeah, you can interact with it, but you don't get anything. <laughs> So what you want to do is come to the rug. You notice how Lara just suddenly made a funny step there. So you actually want to pull this rug out and it can take a long time to find the sweet spot. So when you eventually find it, just hold the action and she'll pull it. Barrel, get out of my way. <laughs> so under the rug, there is a big, it's called a pick lock, a big pick lock, but Usually I believe that's called a lock pick. Either way, we got a big pick lock and we can use that right now. So come to the end. And we want to use it on the door with the Jolly Roger. So you can go upstairs, but I won't do that just yet. Firstly, you want to come to the left and interact with this plant because there is another pick lock in it. This is just labelled as a pick lock or a lock pick and you can use that straight away just here. So well done going through the door there. <laughs> running into nothing. So in here you just want to pick up a cannonball and it's this one here that is slightly different coloured to all the rest. Okay. You make a very good mime, Lara. You're doing great. There we go. <laughs> and now we're just going to go to a new area. We've got a section back here. And you do get a swarm of bats that will attack you, so you can just duck down to avoid most of that attack. So they don't really do that much harm. And they're gone. So that was easy. And you've also got these bigger bats that you can't kill. She targets them. She's not drawing her weapon for some reason. There you go. She's targeting the bats. But she, you can't kill them. She's getting so confused. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> ah. Anyway, let's let's stop. So they're just there to annoy you. So continuing through. 
This section is what I call the pier. So go along the pier and oh no no, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it looks a bit odd when you fall in. There you go. So at the end in the boxes there is a match and some fireflies. So now we have a cannonball and a match. Let me just first point out that jump switch there. And that will open the gate here. But I won't do that just yet. You can open that gate right now. But there's actually not much point. That's all you can do. So I will come back to this point later. Just pointing out that it's there. Anyway, now I have a match and a cannonball. I will now come back into the house with the Jolly Roger and go upstairs. Okay, so just come to the edge and we want to get on top of the house across the way So you want to jump onto the slope to the right and then jump to the next one and then jump forward again Pretty simple you don't really need to save but I like to save at certain points So jump and jump and don't forget to grab for this one. You have to grab that one Shimmy along to the space where you can stand up Hop over this, and here is a cannon. So if you stand in front of the cannon, whoop, no, don't jump back. You can place the cannonball inside. Okay, so stuff has happened there. And come around the back. Why do you keep jumping backwards, Lara? You can use your match. Lara, you are a criminal. Breaking into everyone's houses. Anyway, we can't quite go into that house yet because it's too high. You have to, you, we need a block and the block is actually right inside there. But you can interact with this. This is why we stole Lucia's spoon. So this is like a crowbar lever. We're using the wooden spoon. <laughs> Just a couple of spiders in the corner here. They always run to the corner. Okay. And now just pull the block all the way out as far as it will go. Okay, so you don't have to pull the block all the way to the wall because you can easily jump into the gap. From here you want to jump downstairs. And now you need to find the blue painting. There we go, so you shoot that. Behind the painting is a chest, and in the chest there is a rusty key. And this is for the cave. So to exit you can either climb the ladder and hop out the way you came or pull the lever and exit this way. Now we're going to use the key. So in the cave here there are some important items that we will need. Quite interesting items as well. So if you come so far, you'll notice that's obviously a spike trap. So we need to de deactivate the spikes. And you do that by coming into this very secret cold space. Okay, and just press the big button on the wall. Don't know why there was a sound of a boulder. That was odd. Anyway. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Lara. There you go. Okie dokie. So you've got a closed door here. The button to open that is right here. And now we've got a crab battle. So I'm going to save because the crab is poisonous. Okay. And it can give you quite some grief. Concentration is real. I got it. That was pretty good for me, actually. Last time I played, I, I kept getting poisoned. <laughs> anyway, I believe you can actually bypass the crab. You see the lever in the center? That opens the way out over there. Yeah, it is over there, yeah. <laughs> But anyway, that's what we're going to do now. So I'm quite certain you can just ignore the crab, pull the lever and leave. Ah! And along here we've got some fire traps, so just be careful, just don't go running straight on in. But just around the corner. Okay, and there's another one straight at this corner. Here we go. Okie doke. And the next one, just here. Okay. So at this point, once we step off this tile, we will spawn a load of little crabs, which are very much like scarabs. They will take your health off you. So what we want to do in here, we want to pick up the message in the bottle, just to the left of Laura's head. And the three levers in the room will deactivate the spikes around that pedestal, so we can pick that item up. That is a spiky ruby ouch. And also, once we get the three levers, the door there will open. So it can take a while. <laughs> we'll just do our best. Okay, so I feel better going in an anti-clockwise direction. Go away, little dudes. Leave me be. So firstly, I'm going to go for the message in a bottle. Okay. And I sometimes run to here, just so I've got somewhere to be. Okay, that went well. Sometimes I get stuck on the... by the stone. Oh! Is she going to do it? Ah. You're doing good, Lara. Wow. I'm impressed. She is doing good today. Last one. Oh, I usually run around a lot more. Okay, so sometimes they actually don't get her while she's in animation with the levers. Oh no, they're here. Wow, that went very smoothly. And the crabbies can follow you. Last time I played, there was a single one running around in the beer garden. <laughs> so that was a bit odd. Okay, so follow the passage and then when you find the lever here, just give it a tug. And it's opened the trapdoor so we can leave here. And here we are in the beer garden. So now we're going to find a way to use our spiky ruby. So first let's actually have a look at the message in the bottle because that's a clue of what to do next. Ahoy matey! Stand with your back to the golden school by the sea. 
So that firstly is what we're going to do. So when it says by the sea, that is what I call the pier. And I showed you the skull. It's just in the little cavey section here. So here we are. Pull the jump switch. Okay. Stand with your back to the golden skull. Done. Take five big steps south. So if we have a look at the compass, we are obviously already facing south because it's telling us, well, have your back to the skull so obviously you can only go forward from there. That's what it's implying. So we are already facing south, so that's the red point on the compass. And a big step would be what I call a hop. So just tap the forward button. One, two, three, four, five. And have another look at the message. It then says five east. Now it took me a long time to figure this out, but both times it says east there, it actually means west. So unfortunately that's actually wrong so we want five west next so let's just turn west have a look at the compass the red point is pointing west so one two three four five and then I'm turning preemptively <laughs> five north three east two north so compass facing north one two three, four, five, and well it says east but west, we are west, one, two, three, and then two north, one, two, and you saw Lara do a funny step there at the end so you know this is exactly where you want you to place your spiky ruby ouch. Cool beans. So a new area has opened up. And it can be funny getting in here. The ceiling can be a bit low and the floor can be a bit high. Okay. So you've got a load of graves in here with different items by each one. So let's have a look at the note. The life and death of Dan. Dan was a lousy pirate. He hated seafaring ever since that disaster when his boat went straight down. He didn't enjoy booze neither ever since he almost went to jail completely screwed. Oh, and he didn't like palms neither ever since that coconut landed right on his head. Books weren't exactly his neither since he never learnt the art to read. Guess what Dan liked? So we have to dig one of the graves but we have to guess which one. So let's have a look. He didn't like booze. Uh, he had a bad experience with a coconut. He couldn't read. He didn't like sailing. So what did Dan like? He liked doing what everyone likes doing, which is absolutely nothing. Just chilling out and doing nothing. So let's dig. So if you do dig the wrong grave, Lara actually just keels over and dies on the spot. It's a bit bizarre. But we now have a second amulet. And we can use our two amulets straight away now, right over here. Okay, and the next one. Awesome, and just slide on down. Okay, so we're in a new area. This level is called the Pirate Princess. We are right at the end now. So in here on the center, in the center on the right, you got some flares and we need to open this door ahead so in the center on the right of entering just 
pull the jump switch. Awesome stuff. <coughs> so now if you confront the parrot... Whoa! Only pirates pass here! You not look you like pirate! You not pass! Whoa! Outrageous. So we are not pirate enough apparently. So, there is a door you can't really see it because the parrot is in the way, but this floor lever will open the door. And we just want to head in there. We need to become more of a pirate. And we have a blade trap situation in here. Okay, so we want to make it to the other end. Let me just check my secrets. Cool. I've broken everything. Okay. So just hop forward. Oh, and again. Not doing too good. Oh my goodness. Well. Okay, so that really was an epic fail. <laughs> Just hop forward and again. That's how you do it. <laughs> so be careful of the poles there because they are actually spikes. They will take health off you. So just come behind the poles and there is a pirate saber on the floor. He won't miss it. This is what we want. So now we can return to the parrot. Quite fortunately the blades have stopped now. Save just in case. And just hop down here for the last secret. Nice! Okay, so return to the parrot. Here we go. Oh, I'm a pirate. And now open the door, or you wanna get to know my Seba? Oh, you pass, you pass, oh! Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so now we are official pirate and we can enter. So just be careful of these pendulums here. Try not to get too close. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. That really was rubbish. All right, so do the same, but better. <laughs> do it much better this time. <laughs> so you can use the uh, the roll button to get by, or just take a few steps forward at a time. There you go. Okay, so there is the pirate crown. So the moment you pick this up, the ceiling's gonna come in. But it won't do it straight away, you've got a moment. So I tend to flip back and turn in the air, like jump back and flip. You've got a moment to do that, otherwise 
don't try and jump again otherwise the ceiling is definitely going to get you so even though I'm right at the end of the game <laughs> I'm going to save it anyway okay so grab it and flip back and turn and run for it there we go and now just exit Congrats, princess. I kindly ask to join the crew. Oh, I could use a first mate. It would be an honor. Welcome on board. Aye, aye. By the way, Captain, have you seen my wooden spoon? Uh, no. No, I don't even know what a wooden spoon is. So that's the end of Pirate Princess. I hope you've enjoyed it again with commentary. And don't forget there's still a couple of redos to come, which are Temple of Shiva and Crystal Skulls 1, which I think would be nice because it's not too long ago I completed the second one. So then I'll have them both completed with commentary. But it will most likely be a fair while yet, so please be patient if that's something that you'll be looking forward to. For now though, thanks for watching.